guys to day four of Vlogmas. Today I have four tools that I use on a regular basis, three of them which are wicked time savers, and one of them I use for my products. It's necessary to make it. And you can actually use this tool for multiple products. So let's dive in. So the first tool is a digital bobbin winder. Um, this thing can wind a bobbin within 10, 15 seconds the, the most. Um, I go through bobbins a lot, so this is a wicked time saver. I do have a bobbin winder on my Juki, but it takes about three or four times longer. So this actually works very well for me. And I bought mine on Amazon. All the links I'll have down in the description if you're interested in this. So let's move on to the second one. So the second tool that I use on a regular basis are these t-shirt grids. Now they come as a set. I have the adult, I got the toddler, I got the youth one, and I also have them for the back of the t-shirt if you want to put like a heat transfer on the back of a shirt. So there's one for youth, one for adult. Now these are wicked time savers for me. I've tried many different um, t-shirt grids, including this one, which is kind of clunky. <laughs> Um, this works fine, but it actually takes you much longer to use something like this than um, the clear t-shirt grids. And it automatically has where you should put the placement of the t-shirt transfer, or if you're doing like vinyl, it has that space from your crew, your neck line into where you should put the transfer. So these are really helpful and I can do t-shirts pretty quickly with these. So the next tool that probably embroiderers, like commercial embroiderers, would use a lot is this Needle Ease. This is probably the most expensive out of all the tools today. <laughs> and it's just this little tiny like pen shaped item. And I'll show you how it works. It's to put your needles in the machine um, pretty quickly. I mean, you, you, if you didn't have one of these, it'd probably take you, or it used to take me like five minutes to put a needle in and sometimes it wouldn't be in right. So this is a huge, huge time saver. It's worth the money. I think this little thing costs like $80. So um, anyway, let me show you how it works. Okay, so let me first take out the old needle. Oops. Okay, there, took out the old needle. Here's the new needle. So with this needle ease, all I do is I push this collar down right here, and then I stick the needle right in there. I close the collar, and I twist the needle until I hear a click. Oops, I didn't get it in there, hold on. It's hard to do when I'm on camera here. <laughs> all right, there you go. So the needle's in that little slot, Try to get a good view if you can. Okay, now you twist the needle a little bit until you hear a click. Hear that click? And then you push the needle down, and then you push it like this, and you push it up like that. Now on my particular machine, you have to angle it just ever so slightly. So it was straight. Let me, I'm not sure if you can get a good view of that, but. So it's straight and on my particular machine, you have to go at an angle just slightly before you tighten the screw. And let's tighten the screw right there. And then you release the collar by this blue section. You just pull it down, push the needle ease down and out. And that's how it's used. Super easy. You can do all 15 needles within like five minutes <laughs> instead of just one needle at five minutes. Well guys, that was three tools that I showed you that basically is a time saver for me when I'm doing like t-shirts or embroidery. So this one, this next tool is not a time saver, but it's kind of necessary for one of my products and it's a grommet uh, press. <laughs> um, 
So this is what I use for my bucket hats. I use grommets for like air holes all around the head. Um, you can also use like a mesh material, but I actually like to use these little grommets. Um, see if I can get you close enough. So this is the size I use for those around my um, bucket hats. I got my press um, from eBay, but there's actually a website that sells these specifically. It's Cam Snaps, I believe, CamSnaps.com. Um, but I got mine on eBay because I knew I only wanted to do grommets. And the ones on eBay, they're cheaper, but um, it's harder to get like different dies for them. These are the dies where you put the dies for different size grommets. Um, and it's harder to get like the different ones for like rivets uh, if you want like to do snaps instead. Um, so I, this particular one came with all kinds of different um, grommet sizes. Now I don't really like gold, <laughs> but it's a, it's good practice anyway. So campsnaps.com automatically has all these sets, like the dies for the grommets, along with grommets if you want all kinds of different size grommets, different colors. Um, they also have the die sets for uh, rivets, you know, the snaps that you would put on like a, like a purse of some sort. Um, so they have all those sets on their website and they also have the die that makes, um, if you're working with like a thick fabric, they have those dies where, I mean, yeah, the dies for the press where they cut through the fabric first and then you can put your grommet through. So they have all the materials there. I knew I just wanted to do grommets, um, so I bought mine off of eBay, but it is hard to find the dies that fit these because um, they're a slightly different size than the cam snap ones. So that's just one downfall of going through eBay to buy these presses. Um, they are cheaper, but cam snaps has everything that you want on their website. Well, guys, that's it for day four. Hopefully you like the video. Um, those are four tools that I use on a regular basis, and maybe you can use one of those. So hopefully it was helpful, and I'll see you guys for day five.